Hello, hello, what's up everybody? It's great to be back as usual. Eakin, Steen, what's up guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Eakin, I'm doing great. I've had a busy day, as I know I often say. Um, I'm a bit tired, but full of energy and ready to play this game. Um, I have played this game on multiple occasions. We've definitely streamed it once as well. Um, but there's not a whole lot of terror horror games out right now. There's many coming down the pipeline that I'm excited to play. So, But right now, now there's not um, any new ones out. So we're going to be revisiting this game because they released a DLC for it. I think about a month ago. And they're going to release a second DLC for it in December. So... It's a fairly short game. I don't know if either of you have seen it. it looks like Steen has. I don't know about you, Eakin. But it's, a, I don't know, like two to four hours, depending on if you know how to do the puzzles in it. And then the DLC, I think, is like a 30-minute to an, a 30 minute to an hour DLC, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and probably knock the whole game, including the DLC, out today. Um, in other news, we have a sort of horror cyberpunk game coming up next week called Ruiner, which is a top-down kind of arcade shooter. Looks pretty cool. And then Cuphead as well is a big release that I'm excited to play towards the end of this month. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's jump right into it. Go ahead and boot up! Little nightmares. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited to replay this game. Cuphead is not horror. It is not, Steen. Cuphead is just ridiculous. But that's just a game that I'm excited to play. A big release. It's not a horror game. So we'll be playing that on non-horror days. But Ruiner is. Ish. It's a stretch, but I think it... I, I think we could probably call it that. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and load up a new game. If we look here, these are, we're, we're going to go into chapter selection real quick so I can show, show you guys what we're working with here. So, these are all the chapters, which obviously... We've beaten before, but we're going to be replaying them. And then this is the new DLC. The DLC is a three-part expansion where you get to play as another character, a small child. Not Six. This little yellow-hooded figure is apparently called Six. Um, you get to play as this little child who's trying to escape in the same ship, the mall, but it, from different areas. And they'll be adding two more parts, one in November and one in January. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Since we have played this game before, we're going to be trying... Yeah, yeah, Steen, it's pretty cool. I'm excited. We're going to be trying our hardest... ...to get every collectible, right? So we want to get... We, there's, there's two types of collectibles in this game. There's little... Um, I think they're actually Matryoshka dolls. Little dolls that you throw and break. Get all the little gnomes. And then there's little gnome looking things that kind of look like us. So we're gonna try and get those as well. No coffee today. But uh, cheers with some water, I guess. There you go. Everyone's staying hydrated, I hope. Eakin with his Mountain Dew. All right, I'll be quiet. There's a lot of creepy, uh, kind of oddly placed objects in this game. As you see, if we if we look around when we when, as we're moving around, you'll see like shoes everywhere and like random thing hanging things hanging from ropes. 
Those little guys we just saw are the ones we're going to be trying to rescue. We have this nice lighter to try and make things a little bit more convenient for this. This game is so well made. I agree, Steen. It really is a great game. It's shorter than I would have liked, but it also has poignancy in its shortness. Oh, and we're going to be trying to light all of these thingamabobs as well. I forgot about that. So those are the three collectibles we're going to be trying to do. No, no. MD today. I have Soda Stream Orange. Mmm. Is that kind of like Fanta or Fanta, depending on what you call it? Knock all of the things over. Wait. Yes. Interesting. Cool. Also, you have to light all the candles. Agreed. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next room. Um, we are going to be taking a little bit slow. We know how to solve all the puzzles, so we'll be going through the game pretty fast. But in all the areas, we're going to be trying to make sure... We, we find all the hidden compartments. Like this, for instance. This could be one, but it's not. But there are a lot of things like that. 100% candles run. Exactly! 100% candles, 100% saving the little gnome looking dudes, and 100% throwing the matryoshka dolls. We're gonna try at least. Probably won't. Some, some of them are actually very hard to find. Have you seen this game before, Eakin? You have not. Well, you're in for a short treat then. This game is definitely up there on my list of uh, combatless, atmospheric, short horror games. It's a good one. Super creepy. Not like jump scary, but like just weird. For instance, the fact that we're playing as a small child trying to escape from some sort of ship. Like a really small child. Actually, supposedly... I think it's a she, and her name is Six. That's what we know from the lore mongers who've found things out and said things. And from the devs. Wait. There we go. So there's the little Matryoshka dolls we're going to be breaking. Oh no, maybe they all just have numbers instead of names. How sad. Yeah, that's possible. I think the person we play in the next, in the DLC, actually does have a name, but I don't remember what it is. Someone was smoking the cancer sticks. And there's chairs hung conveniently from the ceiling. Delightful. Oh, look in the door. There's someone's eye. Someone's eye. Okay. Let's check under the bed real quick. Nothing. Some nice toilet paper. 
and a dude who is probably not having too much fun and has ridiculously long legs like way too long okay we had to drag this chair over here to open this door we had to jump on the chair and then jump on the handle Probably my favorite game like this. Obviously, I really love Sims and RimWorld type games, but this is my favorite story playthrough type of game. Interesting. Well, good, Steen. Glad to hear it. It is relatively short, though, but I, I have you played the DLC or seen the DLC? All right. I think these are leeches, like slugs that will kill me. I wonder if it's possible to save. It's not. Okay. There's something I need to remember here. There's this area where there's some collectibles. When you walk straight through the door, you're able to see the collectibles. But if you don't jump over the correct spot, you fall. You fall through the floor. And you can't load back, I don't think. All right, so this is our the first little dude we're gonna hug. Come here, little dude. I'm gonna save you. I am gonna save you. Oh, and and we're gonna light a lantern. Hey, buddy. Oh, look, he loves us now. He's gonna follow us around. He's a little more emaciated than us, though. He's, he hasn't had as much food as we have. <laughs> They're so damn creepy and so damn cute. Alright, and then I believe there's a Metrioshka doll in here as well. Back here, I think. Maybe not? Let's shut this real quick. So cute. <laughs> I agree. They're adorable. And starving. Can we shut this once we've opened it? Maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. Nice. Hello, Rasper. Jasper. Rasper. How are you? How are you? Hope your day is going fantastically. Oop, got some shoes in here. Hmm. So, so far, I wonder if there's a way to check the collectibles we've had. No, it doesn't look like it. Stay away from the slugs. They're, they're dangerous. They'll kill us. You didn't know you could climb that? Steen, I think you did know if you played the game because it's the only way you can actually progress forward. I don't think you can go any other way. You can go back and see, though. But I'm pretty sure. Where else would you suggest I go? You thought the other room? The other room did have something. We went and hugged the little guy. The little cute guy in there. Alright, let's keep going. Let's do it. You can hear the weird ambient noise of the fans and the electricity in the background. Alright, we gotta stay away from those creepy things. And then we have to make sure we don't fall through the pit at the wrong spot. Okay. 
third lantern. We've got a lot of lanterns so far. Orange Fanta. Orange Fanta sounds good right now. These damn slug. I mean, leeches. This thing is still chasing me. Six is actually Rocky Balboa. Play the music. Cue it up. I am the tiger. Okay. Onward. Okay. This is the room. Now, guys, I need all of your energy right now. Because if you see, we can go hug this guy. But where those loose floorboards are, you fall through. And if we don't get this, we're going to have to restart the whole game. I know we're only like 10, 15 minutes in, but we're going we're gonna to have to. Because I've never gotten this before. I always forget <laughs> and fall in the damn hole. You cannot avoid it? Really? Have you tried? All right. Before we restart, because we just, we just tried to jump over and we couldn't. You're 100% sure that we can't avoid it. Because there's a lantern over there we can light. I wonder where the last checkpoint is. I kind of want to restart from the last checkpoint to see where it is. I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, that's the last checkpoint. That's delightful. You think there may be a, a way around from the other room? Okay. We'll try that out then. Maybe from up top here? That's possible. You can go around, okay. Well direct me, backseat game me Jasper. Tell me where it is. Yeah, I think it's probably following this guy. Oh god, we just almost almost died. Following this little guy that just ran. Okay, how do you get around then? Do you have to jump from here? Go past it and up, okay. Tell me if I've gone too far. Go up that board? <laughs> Guessing we keep going up? This and inside get mixed up in my head. Hmm. Let's look around when we open this door and get some light in here. Yeah, see, I don't see any pathways to go back, right? I just don't know. I just don't know. You're too far. Okay, let's go back down a little bit. I definitely want to try and find this, because this is one that I've never gotten before. There's also a lantern up top that we can grab. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm thinking, chat. I'm thinking. Maybe we can jump out and grab this light. No, that wouldn't make any sense. So we know here there, there's a puzzle basically. What you have to do is you gotta go wind this and then jump this gap to get across through the door fast enough. Uh, what do you think, guys? Got any other ideas or suggestions, or do you should we just head out, continue forward? I, I can't think of anything else that we could do here. Go and do not try to die. <laughs> We're gonna definitely be trying not to die, but we also want to try and find the guy. I'm gonna get back around to where we were. <laughs> There's a way to grow, go around, you're pretty sure. Oh, we died. We died. Eakin <laughs> was trying, he was trying to protect us, but we let it happen anyway. We died. Okay, so we there was um, a quick save up top here, so it doesn't actually set us back very far. All right, well, Jasper, if you're sure, but you don't know how, don't know where it is, I don't think there's, and I think we just have to go ahead and progress. I don't think there's an option. We could just say maybe it's farther on, I guess. Death counter. Okay. Maybe we can get in from here, I guess. Oh, there's a dude. Come here, you fool. No, don't leave me. Ugh. We should find how to go around all the gnomes. I agree, it'd be cool if we were able to, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to find that guy. Because we can't go back once we've been in here. Unless it's unless it's farther up, like I said. Yeah, yeah, we can go through that hole. That's actually the only way to go forward here. Looks like there may be a way to open this box up? Maybe not. Okay. Look it up, Steam. Steam. Yeah, if y'all wanna if y'all wanna find a guide and see where it is, you're welcome to. This is like the third time I've played this game, so I'm not super worried about anything in particular. So here's the first enemy we find. The super long armed janitor dude honestly I think if I had to guess I would just say you have to be able to jump over that hole I think that's the only way Jailer? No, he's a janitor. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and progress. <laughs> 